Happy New Year. Welcome to the K-Scope podcast New Year edition as we head into our second decade. First up then, the debut solo album from the psychedelic visionary and founder of Osric Tentacles, Edwin. The album is entitled Shimmer Into Nature and this is called Shim.
Edwin Shim from Shimmer Into Nature, which is out now. Now, the Osrix have sold a million records and have been mainstays of the summer festival scene for nearly four decades now, with an ever transmogrifying uh, lineup. Ed got into music at a very early age, which we'll hear about shortly. But firstly, here he is to explain the title of the record. I, I, it's really hard to explain. It's like a kind of idea of just standing in nature. And if you'd stand there long enough, you might just become part of it and shimmer into it and all that. And I don't know why I thought of that for this title, really. I think all the tracks on there have a moment where they stop and take a breath and you can just pause and it gets a little bit nature sounds swirling around the room a little bit. Or it could just be a load of absolute nonsense. But I just like the idea of it. It sparks a few ideas off and makes people think about it. shimmering into nature, maybe. Or maybe it's nonsense. I have no idea. Time will tell. Well, that seems to be working so far for me anyway. younger I was it's quite interesting really my house I lived in in Wimbledon in London with my parents and family um, we rented half of the house out to Donovan I don't even remember Don, Donovan yeah um, so he lived next door when I was growing up which was quite an amazing thing really because I used to be able to pop around there after school or whatever and there's this room full of people instruments everywhere music and just making music all the time. And so I was sort of there while he was writing things like Mellow Yellow and all these famous tunes he's done was all written in this house that I lived in. And uh, so with my father being an artist as well, I was sort of grow brought up to feel that being an artist or creative musician or whatever is a very good way to carry on. Um, and so luckily it worked for me, you know, but it's hard, to, hard when other people say, would you recommend it? As a career, I would say probably not, because it's really hard. You have to be so good to make an actual, to get away with it, really. It has to be such a, such a fine art, you know? And so, um, fortunately, I was fed that from a very early age, is that if you want to do music, you do music, but you've got to do it, and here we are. We will help you do it if you want to do it, and good luck, you know? So, very fortunate where I landed when I was born, I suppose. George Harrison used to occasionally come around to the house and he said some quite helpful things to me musically at one point. He said you could um, spend six weeks in rehearsal, but you can learn more on one night on the stage than those entire six weeks of what you're meant to be doing. Stuff, you know, which was a thought I had. So consequently with the Osric Tentacles, we didn't really used to ever rehearse. We just used to go on stage and start and go and <laughs> see what happened, you know. So... All useful stuff, really. Was, you know, my father introduced him to the Maharishi. And he sort of said that. He said, oh, thanks to David Wynn for that. And if you think about that, that's quite a, quite a meeting, quite an introduction there, because that sparked a whole India thing, which we all still feel. That's why I've got these things on the wall, you know. From that, maybe a little bit to do with that. It's funny.
Edwin from Shimmer Into Nature, which is out uh, now. That was a snippet of Fwerbel, and before that, a snippet of uh, Travel Dust. Kscope Music dot com forward slash ed for more information now another new release ORK the band which features award winning composer vocalist Elieth King Crimson's Pat uh, Master Lotto Porcupine Trees uh, Colin Edwin Marta Sui Tubi's Carmelo Pipitone and on this album a cameo from System of a Down's Serge Tankian ORK released their new LP, Ramage Head, on K-Scope on the 22nd of uh, February. Now, we'll have an interview with Colin Edwin in the next podcast. And there's a video for the track I'm about to play for you up on our YouTube channel right now. And you can catch the band live supporting The Pineapple Thief on some of their dissolution uh, dates. This is ORK, Kneel to Nothing.
ORK, Neil to nothing. Ramage Head is out on the 22nd of February. Now, as mentioned there, ORK are supporting the Pineapple Thief on uh, some of their dates in support of dissolution throughout Europe and the UK in February and March. And Yeovil's Finest have released a new video for this track from their current album. This is Threatening War. Why don't you know You cannot leave Before you get to go You couldn't say How it got this far Find a way You couldn't know You were falling long before You received the blow You couldn't see Anyone Least of all so you threatening war, so go ahead and send it. So you threatening war, so go ahead and send it.
Pineapple Thief from the current album Dissolution Threatening War. Now, the Pineapple Thief's chums, Godsticks, were one of the stars of the K-Scope 10th anniversary do at the Union Chapel late last year, and they've released themselves doing an acoustic version of Revere ahead of their UK dates. The boys hit Cardiff and London in March, followed by festival dates throughout the summer in support of their current LP on K-Scope, Faced with Rage, Revere. Revere. 
Now, a reminder that there is a short film of said Union Chapel celebrations available on our YouTube channel. And here are the kind words spoken by Jerry Ewing, Prog Magazine's editor, in said film. I mean, what I like about K-Scope is that they clearly give their artists room to breathe. The old record company business model of, you know, like A&R departments and things like that, I, you don't see it sort of applied so stringently. You can hear that. That comes through on, on, on an album. And it's not just that as well. They, they continuously seek out interesting artists. And I think that that's a rare thing. Um, you know, and they want to see progressive development. It's, I think that's more important than progressive music. I think it's more about the attitude than the music. You know, I mean, you'll, you'll get people that read Prog Magazine who think that progressive music should sound like Yes Made It in 1974 will sit there and tell you, well, none of that's prog. But, you know, I, I think that that, that forward-thinking approach is far more progressive than trying to recreate a sound of 40 mm -hmm. years ago. So, you know, that's, that's why I think they're onto a winner. Thank you very much indeed. Mr. Jerry Ewing. And the behind the scenes film was made by our friend Joao Philippe. And if you'd like to enjoy some more full performances from the night, may I point you back towards our YouTube channel where you can find Steve Hogarth and Gleb Kolyadin doing The Best of Days and No Sound doing Saviour, both clips made by our good friends at the University of South Wales Media Production Department. Now, K-Scope have announced the next in their series of Manson reissues, the second LP, Six, one of the most audacious albums of the 1990s, has been remastered for its 21st anniversary, out on the 22nd of March on 180 gram coloured vinyl, standard vinyl, CD and deluxe four disc book edition. And we'll have an interview on the podcast with main man Paul Draper in a couple of editions. The album, of course, features four hit singles, Being a Girl, Legacy, Negative, and this, the title track. Do I?
Manson from the album Six. That's the title track. Thanks very much indeed uh, for listening to this podcast and supporting independent music. We thank the artists that make our label possible. Do please like, share and subscribe to this podcast wherever you may find it. Tar. Finally, Giancarlo Era, a solo album from the No Sound main man. His forthcoming Ends album is a collection of eight thematically connected instrumental pieces, a departure from the prog of No Sound into textural cinematic soundscape, sonic composition territory. It's out on April the 12th. There's a video for this track up now. This is Giancarlo Era, End 7. Billy Reeves signing off. Ta-ta. <laughs>